Hi, I'm Hi. Dina Stewart. And I'm Stuart Stewart. And we're alive on South Beach. It's a show with a little bit of this and a little bit of that. But this week we have a lot of this. And what we're talking about is... Gay Pride Week and the Gay Pride Parade. Well, we're talking about that and we're also talking about the community. And the people. Because this parade demonstrated to anybody that was there that there's only one community on South Beach and it's made up of all of Everybody. us. Not a gay community, not a straight community, mm -hmm. not a ethnic community. It's just all of us. It's a, it's a diverse group of people and everybody is supportive of one another, everybody is tolerant of one another, and it's just a beautiful feeling to be. Well, this is the first time that, I, that I've come to this parade, and we do cover this almost every year, mm -hmm. that there was a lot of emotion because this, everybody that we spoke to knew they were safe enough to talk about their sexual orientation without any ramifications. And when they heard themselves speak and they heard the words coming from their mouth they some of them got very emotional absolutely because the acceptance that everybody feels here is heartwarming and i am so proud to be alive on south beach instead of talking about this because we can go on and i am for way too long yeah why don't we show you what we saw and some of the great people that we met we're on Ocean Drive for a very special event. It's Gay Pride Week, and Ocean Drive is just loaded with people who want to show their pride because we have the whole community participating in this. And as you can see behind me, this is just a small example of what everybody wants to see here. Here on Miami Beach, which is the most tolerant city in the country, we like to express ourselves and show our support. Why are you here today? Because I'm celebrating who I am. And who are you? Um, a lesbian, married to a wonderful woman, and until I met her, I couldn't be me. You're going to make me cry, but I love, I love events like this because I just get to be me. I don't have to worry about anybody being mean or hateful because of who I am. I just get to celebrate the fact that I'm a lesbian and I'm in love. People have a tendency to assume and they're afraid of what they don't understand and they don't want to get to know me. Well that's why they need events like this and they need people like you and, and people like me. I'm a sister, I'm a friend, there's more to me but at events like this it's important to celebrate the lesbian part. Yeah, the awareness. Coming from the Midwest, you don't get... Where? Indiana. That is, that's the middle of... You can't, you can't walk freely in the streets. You can't get your taxes done. You can't get a cake done. You can't go to dinner at some places. Here, I get to be a person. A whole person. And from what, I, what I've seen so far, a good person. Thank you. Have a nice day. Too. Thank you. I'm a citizen of the world and a very dear friend of a person that lives in South Beach, and they invited me down for Gay Pride, so I thought, well, I'll be here. So what do you think? It's a lot of fun. Um, it's nice to see the community out. Um, the weather's wonderful. I love Miami Beach anyway, so I don't need much of an excuse. Where are you from? Orlando. And how is South Beach different than Orlando? Yeah, well, we have a beach uh, here in South Beach. We don't have one in Orlando, so... I'm talking about the people. You know what? I think people are mostly the same around the world. I, I, I think people are more good than they are bad, and I think they're mostly good in most places, if you give them a chance. What do you think this is really all about? Well, I think it proves that, uh, that the gay community lives everywhere, works everywhere. Um, it's hard to find a prettier background for an event like this than half on the beach and our old Art Deco hotel as well and I think that's kind of neat. One of the nice things about parades like this is you see lots of businesses. You saw one of the things I really enjoyed seeing was military flags at the beginning of the parade for veterans who happen to be gay um, and I think that's a way of tying the community to the rest of the country and and um, 
I think it's good for everybody. We use the words melting pot a lot to describe the country, and usually we mean ethnic or nationality. But Miami Beach and Miami in particular are really a bigger melting pot than even that. It's not just nationality and ethnicity. It's also cultural background. It's the arts. It's the gender. It's everything that you can possibly imagine. And I think that's why people come here. It's part of the reason. If this were anywhere else in the country, people would say, why are you dressed that way? No. But this is South Beach, so why are you dressed this way? Because I love SpongeBob, and I think he's an inspirational character, and I needed to honor him in this way. How has he inspired you? He just told me I should be myself, and I shouldn't care what anyone else thinks. And are you yourself now? Absolutely. And how do you feel? So free. And what about you? Uh, I wear this because it makes me feel good. Like myself, and that's how everyone should be, just comfortable to be themselves. Are you local or are you visiting? We're actually from New York. You came down here just for the Pride Parade? We did, yeah, because we love Pride, but New York is a little overwhelming sometimes. Um, it's become a little commercial, and so down here it's a little more relaxed and fun. Um, and we have a good friend who lives here now, so. What do you think of the turnout? It's not, it's not just gay people. Yeah, it's everybody, because we all support equality and loving whoever you want to love and just supporting what people want to do and their choices. Is this different than the Gay Pride in New York parade? It's a little different. It's a little less commercial, um, and it's a little more... Uh, Relaxed, I would say, yeah. So if you had a choice to march in the New York Parade or the South Beach Parade? I would absolutely choose the South Beach Parade. I don't blame you. Yeah, it's wonderful. I'm here um, as part of the FIU Panthers for Recovery. We're just trying to help the LGBT community stay clean from drugs and addiction. Thank you. So this is a great opportunity for, for your group Definitely. to make people aware. Yes. What's the message you want to send out? We just want to say that you can live a happy free life without using without using well that, that's a very important <laughs> message whether yes. you're gay or straight amen why are you here today um, I came to express myself um, we have a younger group of kids nowadays that are more open about their sexualities and finding themselves so I feel like I can set an example in that and what you saw today did it live up to your expectations yeah, it did, it did. I've had a lot of kids take pictures with me, adults who've loved it. So, yeah, it's been a good turnout. No drama, no hatred. Well, what do you think the message is today that everybody should walk away with? Um, I think everybody should maybe realize that everybody is uh, entitled to their own life experiences and their own identities and that we should accept people as who they are and just let people live, you know. So the whole purpose here is like to make everybody aware that you and you and me, we look different, but we're just people. Yeah, that's very true. Keep up the good work because that's important. We got work to Thank you. Thank Keep you. up. You yeah. too. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. You know, at, at this parade, everybody thinks the action is on the street and it, as it's going by. But I turned around and I bumped into Dwayne, who was carrying a trombone. So the first question I got to ask you, why are you carrying a trombone? I was playing with the South Florida Pride Wind Ensemble, based out of Oakland Park, Florida. How did it feel to march in the parade? It felt great. The weather's great. It's just being out here with so many different people that come for the same personality. Well, that's, that's what makes this parade so unique, and that's why I wanted to talk to you, because everybody here is watching, and you were actually in it. So it, it had to have a, a feeling inside of you. A way different experience, it's like you're being out there supporting gay pride.